Welcome to part 10 of this puzzle run where you can solve tactics along with me on chess.com. And so let's begin. In this first position, the queen has just moved here to h4. And so now it is white's turn. And what does white have in this position? Let's see. Uh, is there any attack on black's king? I don't see anything. Uh, we have a threat here of the queen capturing the knight, checking white's king. Uh, hmm. So, my first thought, uh, have you found the position yet? Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Let's see. And so, this bishop is also attacking here, so there is this threat. So I'm thinking the queen should capture this bishop. If the knight captures here, the king can move. And it looks like that should work. Or maybe that's the best. Uh, hmm. All right, and now the king can just move here and escape. All right, and so that worked. I hope you found that problem as well, and let's move on to the next one. All right, this pawn has just moved forward to f4, attacking our queen. But we have a bishop, two knights, and a queen all aimed and this other bishop aimed at white's king side so how can we follow up here and cause problems hmm well we have a discovered check here if this knight moves so that is possible hmm and that would be a double check. So we could move here. Checking. <clears throat> so that looks to be the first move. Is knight to f3. And... A discovered check by the bishop once this knight moves. The knight will move to f3 and also check the king. The king will be forced to move into this corner on h1. And then what should be our follow-up? Mm. We could move the queen over to threaten a mate here. And that would force... This queen, uh, no, we would still be able to attack because both knights, the queen could not capture this knight because this one will move in here. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that is not what they wanted. Oh, they probably wanted the knight to move here to e2. Okay, I should have investigated the position a little bit longer. All right, let's retry. Hopefully you found that and did better than I just did there. So if knight here, that blocks the queen as well. And it allows us to go here. Okay, so there. And now here. And now the queen can mate. All right, I should have checked a little bit longer and verified the variations all right on to the next one okay the rook has just moved to g3 lining up threatening a check and a capture of the queen but what do we have here white's king is pretty open as well so have you found the move yet that you think is best all right 
Well, hmm. Let us see, let us see here. Have you found what you think is best? Um, right now I'm seeing queen to d6 with check and the only move is here to f5 but then how do we follow that up? Do we just capture this bishop and then we'd be ahead in material so that is a possibility. But is there a way to mate this king? If we were to go check here, the king would be forced to go here, here, or here. And if he goes here, we could follow up with this move. Uh, if he goes here, what do we have? Hmm. Hmm. Well, here to d3, we could follow up with a capture of this pawn, and that would prevent... We could have a check, but the king could move up, and if he tried to follow up, we could just capture and be ahead of rook so that capture will move and now we can just capture off and be ahead the rook all right on to the next problem okay so b4 has just been played and what does white have in this position is there a way to get in there after black's king? Hmm. And also, is my king safe? So, there is this check by the knight, but we can just capture the queen could only go here we could capture uh, are there any targets i'm thinking push this pawn forward which lets this bishop lets the queen come over and attack this pawn hmm All right, is there anything more immediate? Should we move our knight up and into the game by going here? And then if we threaten to jump here with check, how do we follow that up? The king could just move. All right, so do we need to push this pawn forward and threaten to capture with check, but he could push his pawn. So here, but then the queen could move over and capture and threaten a mate here. So uh, what do you think? Have you found your move yet? Uh, pause if you need to. I think I'm going to push this pawn all right so we have a capture there uh, we can capture with check do we just capture this knight here hmm. we could capture with a double check with the rook Discover check with the rook and a capture here. 
the king will have to move onto this line. Hmm. Then do we just capture or Well, probably proceed with this capture. Oh, I'm in check. Okay. So I got a capture with the queen or with the pawn. Nope, they don't want that. So they want that. that and now the queen can be captured all right interesting okay i misplayed that combination so they are definitely getting a little tougher as we get up into this uh 2100 range all right on to the next one i hope you you're doing a little better than i am all right Knight has just moved back to d2, attacking my queen. What do we have here? Hmm. Well, we have a knight that could fork here. And if this pawn captures, so the knight could fork the king and the queen. And if the pawn captures, we have check. And how do we follow that up? So if he goes here, the bishop can jump in. And mate, I believe, if he... He retreats down this way. What do we do then? We check with the queen again. Then he would run back up to here. All right. Ah, and they do not like that. I am just not not doing too well today. All right. Well, hmm. Do I just capture this knight? So that is the move that they wanted. And then, oh, and this bishop was here anyway. That could have, that can capture the knight. All right. Well, do we just capture further? Capture. All right. Then he'll recapture. And then we're just slightly well they yeah, ahead now they have a pawn how how would this be followed up so if we have capture by the rook and then we could capture here we could capture this pawn hmm all right, on to the next one before this puzzle run turns into a puzzle crawl. All right, so now we have a rook that is moving to e8. And in this position, e8, what do we have next? Uh, 
Oh, well, we have a possible check here that the king could escape to e7. And how do we follow up? Um, or do we just capture this rook over here? Do we check first and then capture the rook? Oh no, we check and then follow up with the queen capturing the bishop. So that would work. All right. Let's see if this works. So if we have the knight to g5 with check, the king will have to move here to e7. Then we can capture the bishop with check, and the king will be forced to move here. And... We could check again and then capture there. All right. Okay, now if we capture here, unless we have anything better, let's see. Probably, well, now we can't move, can't go here because of this knight. So, but we can fork with the knight. And that will be a mate as well. Okay. All right. I hope you found that one. On to the next one. All right. A5. Let's see. A5 is threatening to check my king with an A4 move. My king could come forward, but then check by this bishop. So that this could cause problems. Do we have an attack that we can get in first? So we have queen capturing on f7 with check. The king will have to move. This is the only possibility. We could follow it up. With a queen move. Here. If he goes to d7. Um, then what do we have? We can jump in here with the bishop. He could capture that. So that wouldn't work. All right, so bishop is obvious move. Or excuse me, queen capturing here on f7 is the obvious move. He can only run here. If we followed up with a check here, he can move back. But now the queen and the bishop will help defend. So what do we have? Hmm. All right. Well, Huh. All right. I'm having trouble seeing this one to the end. So queen captures on f7 with check. The king must go to d8. We could check here. And then we could swing over and capture that rook. All right, Let's see if there's not anything better. Looks like we should just capture that rook. So, all right, 
looks like that is what we have to do. Check and capture the rook. Does this check do anything? He could just block. So just go there. All right. On to the next one. Okay, the rook has just moved here to a5, attacking my rook on b5. What do we have happening here? We're behind in material by a queen. So, hmm. What move do we have here? Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Have you found what you think is best? So it looks like Black's King has kind of trapped itself in here with its own pawns and with my king and pawns and this knight. So the only move he has is here to this g5 square. So we must check. Okay, I think I found it. A check here and the king cannot or excuse me the pawn cannot capture because this rook is pinning the pawn to the king so the king must move the only move he can make is here to g5 and then this pawn on h2 will jump up here with checkmate trapping the king and mating all right on to the next one okay b3 was played which blocks in my bishop and threatens the queen to capture this bishop. What do we have? We have a check here, but that can be blocked by the queen um, or the king can just move. But we can rescue the bishop by doing that and capture this pawn. So I think that will work here. Make sure there are no threats that are that we are missing. Okay, that looks to be the best move. Okay, now we can just capture this pawn with the queen. All right, on to the next one. Okay, the bishop has just moved to f5. And what does that do? What does that do? Um, it allows this rook here to check. Now we have a block and we can capture here with this knight. All right, and now, hmm, hmm. Well, now we have to play this out carefully. Do we capture with the rook? Okay, now it just got a little more complicated. So, if we capture with the rook, he's in check. He must capture with the rook, then the knight can jump in there. Okay. And we come out ahead. All right, on to the next one. We started out kind of rough, but... It looks like we're slowly 
running that rating up. Okay, so the rook has just moved here, pinning this bishop to this rook, although, no, the rook is protected by the queen. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have? Hmm. All right. Well, looks like a lot of pressure. We have this bishop eyeing the king, so it pins this pawn. So, if we capture, and he goes here. What do we have? Is that anything? So if this rook captures on f4, we could have rook captures. Okay, I think we got it. Have you found the moves yet? Well, obviously I have not found, <laughs> found the moves. <laughs> All right, let's look at that again. Okay. Hmm. I thought that worked. All right, I can't move this bishop or he'll just capture there. What is the issue here? What do we do? Great. I thought that was the move to capture here. That is not it. What about the queen? That is not it. So I don't know. This is another frustrating one. And I do not know what to do here. I do not know. I don't know. I don't really see anything that can be done. This is starting to get frustrating. I hope you found the move because I do not have it. All right, I'm going to probably find, use the hint here because I cannot figure this one out. The bishop is lined up on this king. This pawn is pinned. You would think we would just attack here. He captures. Then we check. This queen could capture. All right, I do not see here what to do. 
Do we just capture a pawn? I don't know. I'm going to find the solution because I have no clue here. All right. Well, on to the next one. I hope you did better. That one gave me a hard time. All right. The knight has moved to E2. Knight to E2. What does that do? Threaten to jump in here to this outpost. All right. What do we have? An attack on the queen. Trapping the queen. Yep, I think we can trap the queen. Then the knight can jump here. And now we have to go ahead and material, but now the queen can escape. Let me take a look at that again. So there, okay, that was preventing. All right, yeah, once that rook moved, now the queen can escape out there, but we got a head in material. All right, on to the next one. Let's try this again. Okay, this bishop has moved, pinning that knight to the rook. But we have a checkmate. Have you found it? All right. On to the next one. The queen is captured on b2. Threatening to capture our rook next. What do we have? All right. It looks like his king is not safe. And we can get to that king. So, check and mate. All right, on to the next one. The bishop has remaneuvered up here to e7, attacking our knight. And it looks like another variation here of that and that and mate. All right, on to the next one. A capture here on g6, and now there's a threat of a capture on f7 with check. What do we have first here? Okay, it looks like a queen sacrifice. And mate. All right, on to the next one. The queen has just moved to f5. What do we have here? What do we have? All right, any attacks on, on the king? Hmm. All right. And... Hmm, the queen is almost trapped. If we go here, the queen can only move out here. Then we could attack again with the bishop, but it would just go back and forth. Do we have a different follow-up after this move? Ah, uh, we could first attack with this pawn. That would block that in, and then we could trap the queen. Okay. All right. Okay, on to the next one. 
Okay, we have the bishop capturing on e4, attacking our bishop. What do we have? What do we have here? Okay, we have a rook on the seventh rank up here. Okay, well, let's see, we attack the queen, I don't see any trapping options, but should we capture? We capture this pawn. And if the king captures, we can capture the bishop, the rook captures. We can check the king. But then. Uh, or we do that first. We capture first. Then we capture here. <clears throat> if the king captures, we jump up here, attacking the king and this, and the rook. Or, oh, wait. Okay, we could fork them now. If he moves here, we can capture, so maybe that would be better to just do that. All right, now we can just capture this bishop. Capture the bishop. Hmm. All right, and then we're just ahead with this bishop here for white's one extra pawn. All right, on to the next one. We'll try and get to 2200 unless we run into more problems like earlier. Okay, the queen is just captured here on A2. What should we do? Uh, we could capture this pawn with the bishop checking black's king. But do we have any kind of follow-up with that? Hmm. Okay. All right. Or we sacrifice our queen. I think that works. Because now if he captured and we captured with check, he would have to move over and the rook could come in. But now we can just go there and here. All right. On to the next one. Here we go. The queen has jumped into the center of the board on e5. So now we have this threat lined up on the king. And if this rook moves here, the queen could be captured as it would be a discovered check after the rook moves. And this queen would be under attack. So do we move first and pin his queen i think that's what we do because now if he moves we can just capture his queen with check but does he have another option here he could move okay i think that works i think that works Oh, so we're in check now. Okay, well, we have to move somewhere where we cannot be checked again. <laughs> All right, well, 
we have to find a place that we cannot be checked again so we can't move up here if we move here he can just check us again so if we move here we can capture well his queen will be able to I think that works right there all right so that was a little tricky all right we made it up over 2200 to 2201 uh, i'll stop there for today i uh, had a little trouble on a few of those so i hope you did better than i did uh, if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and feel free to leave comments or suggestions i hope you enjoyed following along and solving these tactical problems on chess.com thank you and have a great day